So um, I, I guess the best advice when it comes to such things, right? Uh, like always go um, listen with an open mind. Yes, but close wallets. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. What does personality type have to do with money? Hi everyone, I'm Benjamin, the founding editor of Money Play School. In today's session, we have Yen Ding, who's an expert in personality psychology and a financial practitioner to have a chat about how your personality type affects your relationship with money. My name is Ian. I have been a uh, financial practitioner for the last, actually this, this is my fifth year I think. Um, and prior to joining the, the industry, uh, I used to run a training business. I used to go around the region in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, India and Vietnam to give talks on um, business as well as on personality profiling. Um, so yeah, I guess it's like here today to do talk a little bit more about that. <laughs> sure, sure. And today we'll be talking a bit more about Enneagram, right? Yes. Yeah, can you give us a brief introduction of that and your background in it? And yeah, why Enneagram? <laughs> okay, so there's a very interesting story. So the Enneagram is actually a very, very powerful tool. Um, if you compare it to the different kinds of uh, personality profiling tools in the market, right? The Enneagram speaks more about the why a person behaves in a particular manner as compared to a lot of the other tools like for example the uh, MBTI, right? Like the, the one that tells you the INFJ, whether you're introvert or extrovert. That, that speaks about more of how you would behave in certain um, uh, situations. But the Enneagram talks about why. So after you understand the why, you'll be able to figure out what the motivations are, what your motivations are, and how it can affect your daily decisions. Um, so the interesting story of how I, I found this, this profiling tool was uh, back when I was in poly, I was, I was in Nian Poly and I was very, very interested in psychology, right? Then, uh, in Nian Poly, back then, uh, you take this minor module called uh, in Inter School Studies or something like that one. It's an IS module, right? Uh, so it's, it's just a couple of weeks, very, very short uh, course and the lecturer mentioned this particular thing called the Enneagram and I was very intrigued by, by it because uh, through the nine types, right? Uh, as the lecturer was running through, uh, there was this one particular type that resonated a lot with me and I thought, how, how can this guy know me so well? And I don't even I have I no experience with him before. So that got me very intrigued. And, and uh, when I could afford it, I went to take out my own uh, studies. I went to further studies on it, uh, uh, on, on personality profiling, on personality psychology, as well as on uh, NLP, uh, Neuro Linguistic Programming, uh, more the, on the mindset. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. Man of many talents. When you talk about NLP, I understand that you're also a master NLP yes, practitioner, yes, right? Yes, yeah, yes, and a yes. career coach. Correct. Wow. Okay, so we are very <laughs> glad to have you here. Um, yeah, you mentioned about nine anagram types. Um, so, an understanding, an anagram starts to understand why we do certain things and decisions. Okay, so today we will be talking about why we do certain things when it comes to money then. Yes. Yes. So maybe can you give us a brief overview of what are the nine uh, personality types personality types in Enneagram? Okay. So there are a total of nine types. Um, type ones are what we call the perfectionists. These are people who are um, very they're they're stickler for rules, you know. So they have to uh, <laughs> Can speak Hokkien? <laughs> Not vulgar language. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they are very meow, they're very kiki, they're very, they're very stubborn, they're very it's just everything also. Their idea of correct is usually more correct than our idea of correct. So they're usually more correct. But the interesting thing is <laughs> they're that more correct. They are, they are more correct than our correct, you know. So in, in their mindset, right, there's only white or black, there is no like uh, in between, there's no grey area kind of a thing. So so that's one the perfection is, right? Then there's two, these are people who are the helpers. These are people who are very kind, very loving, very motherly, very sayang, uh, very, very kind and helpful people. Uh, they they are the most self-sacrificial kind, right? Whereby they will sacrifice themselves, right, in order to help you get what you want. Wow. Uh, so that's a type two, right? Um, then there are the type trees. Trees are the people who are very, very efficient people. Um, <laughs> in local context, you, you will find them very good at doing this thing called how lian, jing la how lian. By how lian, I mean uh, they are very good at um, telling people what they are good at doing. Mm. Uh, not because they want to show off to you, but because they want to let you know that if I can do, you also can. Uh, and then what entails afterward will be um, how to do it, how you can do, how you can do it. Right? Then there's a type four. No, like that. I think I type three. <laughs> <laughs> also type three. <laughs> So, so, so that's the first three. Uh, there is a type four. Uh, four are people who are very emotional, right? Four are people who uh, seek to be unique and different all the time. Uh, these are people who want to do things very, very differently. Um, they, they are spurred more by emotional impulses rather than logic itself. 
uh, which is a nice segue to the type fives because fives are kind of polar opposites of the type fours. If fours are spurred by emotions all the time, then fives are people who are uh, spurred by pure logic. There are people who can uh, logicalize emotion and rationalize feeling one. Uh, and so if these are people who tell me they are introverted, I really believe because they really don't like interaction with other people, small talk people, right? Then there's a type six. Six are people who are the kia su, kia si, kia bo, kia lang, open door, cat, uh, scared, lightning strike, cross road, scared, coming, everything also worry, everything also Everything was scared one, right? So these are people who uh, tend to be very good at contingency planning. They will be uh, planning for when the worst case scenario happens. It's just that the worst case scenario doesn't always happen. So they appear to be wet blankets to most people, right? Then you have your type sevens. Sevens are people who are very fun, very enthusiastic. Um, they are fantastic at telling stories. Uh, in, in, in a group setting, right? They are like your internship. They're very good at rah -rah people, making people happy, right? making people laugh, very excitable. These are your type sevens, right? Uh, you have your type eights. Eights are like your... Um, like the bosses, the big boss, the challenger. They like, they like challengers, they like... Uh, okay, so the interesting thing about that is that they like being in control and they like to... Um, they got... Okay, I would say they are often misunderstood because people always think that they're very, very angry people. But the truth is that they are more vulnerable than not and they appear angry to protect themselves first. Uh, yeah, that's what that means. Then you have a type nines, which are the peacemaking types. These are the kind of people who will avoid conflict at all times. Uh, because they, they don't want to fight. So nice are the people uh, are the most interesting one. Whatever you say, they also will go. Whatever you say, also they will do. Just okay, lor. You eat, lor. Okay, lor. You know, go, lor. Okay, lor. Go, lor. Everything also okay. They, they will, they will, they will follow you. Uh, because they don't want to, to create conflict. Yeah, so very, 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 very briefly, these are your nine types. Oh, wow, yeah. wow, wow. So the nine different types you have inside. If you, are, if you want to find out about your type, yeah, you can check out the link. Yes. Um, you can do the test. Um, you'll be in the comment section as mm. well, the description. You can do the test as well um, to find out a bit more and uh, about the nine types and your own personality mm. type. Yeah, so, so today I'm interested to find out a bit more about how all this relates to, to money, right? Mm. So I have some questions, yeah. Mm. yeah. So Ian, yeah, some people, um, always fall for those kind of love scams. Uh. Yes. You know, on social media. <laughs> wow, always uh, yes. pretty ladies messaging, hello, how are correct, you? Correct. And all or that. the handsome guy message, then the, yeah. yeah. And some of them that. tend to always feel that, wow, yeah, a pretty girl message mm. me, I must reply and mm. all that. Mm. Why and how or which personality type uh, uh, are usually like that? Mm. Okay, so actually that's an interesting question. Uh, I would say that there are some types that may be prone. Okay, so, so of course, if it's too obvious of a scam, right, then, then it depends on the intellect level, the person <laughs> person yeah, 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 yeah. But, but so if, if you fall for advanced kind of scam, but the, the scammer actually spends time with you, like tells you a lot of things, and then, like actually bothers to build a relationship, right? Then I think several types may fall for it, right? Like maybe uh, type two, they, they really think that, oh, you this very my birthday, what I want, want, want to do everything to help the person. It helps that it's good looking also, mm -hmm. then maybe you want to go and help. Those are the helpers, yeah, right? Helpers, yep. right? Okay. Then, or, or like the type fours, maybe they can relate with your emotion, then they, they can empathize, they can feel, and then they want to be a part of it, you know, to just, 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 just to be there with you. Or it could be a, a type 7 kind of thing whereby you want to um, just experience something exciting and fun. And so in that moment, you may fall for the trap. And if the scammer is intelligent enough, then you will continue to build a relationship, right? And then that's where such things may happen. No? Sure. Mm. So type 2 are the helpers. Helpers. Type, type 4 are the emotional ones. The emotional mm. ones. 7 are the, the adventurers. The adventurers. Mm. Yeah. So if you are these types, be a bit more careful and, mm. you know, all this bloom blossoming relationship right. online with right. people that you have not met before. Right. Okay. So so another thing is also um, sometimes you know you in our circle of friends, I'm sure you experience that as well. There'll be people who come to you, hey this investment very good, I heard this investment very ah, good. Or hey, yes. wow, this business opportunity cannot miss. Yes. Yeah so there are always that kind of like <laughs> well everything also good. Everything right. also they want to all or nothing, right? right. Um, so what kind of types are are these people and how should they you know manage their relationship with money? Okay, so again, right, uh, it depends on how good the person who sold the business was. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the, the business scam, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, but I can give you that there are some like natural types who naturally fall for that. Uh, last time when I was running my own business in the, the business network, especially in the local context, there are several people, several key people, I think, like the names will just come out like, Always regularly say such things like, you know, wow, for this business, why is that good? You must wow, wow, think why you don't join, you will lose out. It's, it's very interesting. Um, but largely, you will find people like the maybe the type trees, uh, because type trees are very efficient people. Type trees always want the shortest way to get things done, they want the minimal effort, the maximum results. So, when some an opportunity like this, this comes 
up, right? Then they will think you think, oh actually this makes sense and they'll all in. Mm -hmm. And then they want everybody to all in with them also. So that, that could be the type, type three, whereby if they find a good deal and they are already in it and they see some results, right? Then they go and how late to everybody they say, what is that? Why do you want to join me? So that could be a type three thing. Or it could be a type eight thing whereby um because type eight is a people who are all or nothing. They're either 100 percent in or they're 100 percent out. So the moment they are in already, right, they will make sure that their friends are good. It's damn good. So so it's different kind, right? The trees, maybe your type trees, maybe will brag to you. Trees oh, are the what again? Uh, Perfectionists. The, no, no, trees are the achievers. Achievers, sorry. Type mm. three, the achievers. Type achievers. Oh, I'm also type three. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> type three <laughs> so, are the achievers. Yes. Yeah. And type eights are? are the challengers. The challengers. Mm. Ah, okay. So trees will, will go around bragging and influencing other people, right? To join them because it's damn good. Wow, this is the best damn thing I've ever seen. And they sell to you why it's good. Whereas it's take on a different approach, it will, will actually um, kind of bulldoze their way through and they will tell you that they will tell you off uh, if, if you're not trying to interview them. They tell you, wow, you must be a stupid person, you don't this too good. So so they can they can appear to be a bit more aggressive uh, in their approach. Uh, and to them, if you're not on my side, right, you're not on my side. If you don't buy my idea, then you're not you're not steady friend. So 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 they can take on different approaches like that. But um, most commonly for such business opportunities, I, I can foresee people like maybe the type threes and the type eights like may have uh, the tendency to fall into that. Sure, mm -hmm. sure, sure. So um, I, I guess the best advice when it comes to such things, right? Uh, like always go um, listen with an open mind. Yes, but closed wallets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so correct. Yeah, open my clothes wallets. I don't know how invest, invest, invest. Correct, correct. Yeah, but what I found very interesting as well, I mean, um, the different types may do the same thing. Yes. But from what you described, they do it for very different very reasons. Different reasons. Correct. Yeah. So, so understanding your own personality types uh, will tell you what are your motivations to do something, mm. and maybe you can be a bit more careful about that. Mm. Yeah. And if you can tell that your friends are such types, Mm -hmm. Also have to be a bit careful, right? Sometimes because right. they wow, well, must do, must do, right. and all that. Yeah. Okay. So how about conversely? Um, there are those, right? Mm -hmm. You go to them. They just want to put their money under the pillow ah, or in the yes, savings yes. account. Yes. Uh, don't do anything. Hey, this one was too risky. I don't want to lose money. Yes. Well, lose a bit only. Well, I cannot sleep. Correct. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So what? Uh, the types that are usually like that. Be your type fives and your type six. Okay. So fives are what? Type five, yeah. So mm -hmm. fives are the people who are very observant. So they're very logical people. These are people who always think through, uh, but they may be stuck in the present moment. And fives also got a natural tendency to not want to have a lot with them because they fear people coming to, to them and asking more from them, whereby they actually just want to have a private life, they just want to be alone, you know? So they have the natural tendency uh, to want to be by themselves. And if I'm alone by myself, I can survive by myself, right? I don't need a lot to survive. So I don't need that much. So they got the tendency, if, if they are interested in the topic of money for type 5, right? if they are interested in the topic of money, they will do their own research, they will do their own uh, uh, due diligence, they're going to find out, and then they will do the investment by themselves. Um, but if they are really not interested in money, one, right? then they are the kind of buy the money, the money in the bank is enough. So, so that could be a type 5. Another one would be your type 6. 6 are people who are very worried. Uh, and fearful and afraid of the worst case scenarios. If something happens, this and that, and then they they, they be worried uh, very scared uh, Are you sure? Uh, this and that. So they they were they are largely reactive people uh, in that sense. If if you study the, the psychology of a type six, right? Type six usually have uh, a lot of such concerns, a lot of such like statements, a lot of such things that they say. But they are largely circling around one or two fears uh, that comes out in different different various forms. Uh, so. Once you can appease that particular fear, right, then they would be loyal because they're what we call the loyal skeptics, man. They're skeptical first before they're loyal. Uh, you know, so 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 it's not that they are just lousy and invested what they don't want or they don't know how to. It's just maybe they have all these things that they need to settle first before they go in. So I mean, um, uh, I mean, of course, like you say, you are in this for ten years, mm. uh, uh, understanding the personality and all that. For those of us who are not so familiar um, with Enneagram, especially. Um, like how does this help us or what, what should we do with the information especially uh, when it comes to trying to grow our money or trying to invest our money mm. or try to guard our money um, mm. from scams mm. uh, yeah any advice that you have on how we should approach this okay mm. so I think the um, I think the topic of linking personality together with money has been around for a while already um, but I really really like the anagram a lot because uh, this is Chinese saying zi 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 di. Person, right? So uh, if, if you know yourself, uh, I think the, the literal translation should be if you know the more you know yourself, the lesser battles you will lose. 
instead of like you win all the battles, is the lesser battles you I, I think that the actual translation should be like that. I think uh, um, uh, and how it links back is uh, not so much on like uh, if I'm this type, I should do this. It should be more of exploration of my type, uh, figuring out where my patterns are, why I do certain things, uh, and also uh, how it would help with uh, making financial decisions would be to understand uh, what am I most prone to. So if I'm more of an emotional person, like maybe if I'm type 2 or type 4, right? So 2's got tendency to be emotional for other people. 4's got tendency to be emotional for themselves. Then, then you will realize that a lot of your decisions, right, are made uh, by impulse, by, by emotion. Uh, and so you, you may act very quickly and regret it on. Uh, and as a result, maybe you, you for certain scams or you make poor financial decisions and so on and so forth or maybe if you are like a, a more of a thinking type like a type 5 or a, a type 7 you know then you may be a 5 may be stuck in the present they may over analyze and they don't do anything about it a 7 may be too excited about the future and then they, they everything just put they dump everything and they have like nothing now uh, yeah so so I think what's more important is to understand your core motivations or why you react in a certain manner and the more you understand why you react in a certain manner right the easier it is for you to manage yourself uh, especially when it comes to to big financial decisions yes yeah yes okay so understanding our personality type um to know how you are like and your emotions right mm. when it comes to making such decisions always very important mm. and just for me as a uh, I, I mean for myself i i feel um, that's why a lot of times people try to do everything themselves, yeah. try to research themselves. Um, number one, if you don't understand your personality type, you will always make certain decisions, mm. um, which is I think not so good. Mm. Yeah, you because you are naturally your natural tendency is to act yeah. a certain way. Correct. Um, so I guess if you have a professional that can help you, a financial mm. advisor, a financial coach, I think they can or a life coach they can point out your the differences right and your mm. shortfalls and where your gaps are. I think that can help you to be a bit more comprehensive in your thinking and thoughts. Correct. Yeah. It, it helps a lot because uh, having an uh, additional perspective, uh, like not just telling you how you should allocate your money, but understanding why you make certain decisions, I think that helps a lot mm. uh, in the, the journey of financial planning. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, because numbers could be interpreted differently by different Correct. people and different Correct. personalities. Right? So it's good to have that professional to guide you and help you mm. along the way. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. I understand the Enneagram personality type is also not just, um, I mean like you said, for a lot of decisions, right? Mm. I mean, a lot of people watching this will also be interested in how it helps in terms of career. Mm. Yeah, um, career development or career choices and all that. Uh, what are your thoughts? Okay, so this uh, separate topic, but it's also very, very interesting because um, on two aspects, right? As a certain type yourself, you will have natural tendencies to certain industries or certain kinds of jobs, mm. right? And that, that's, that's one aspect, the primary aspect. The secondary aspect would be how each type, right, fits in at the workplace. Whether you can function well with your colleagues or whether your, your boss, you know, how, how they, they manage the department or like uh, how the company culture is like, which type is it tended towards more to and what are the strengths and weaknesses uh, that they may pro uh, uh, exude right, as, as a type. I think that would affect a lot. Uh, so if you know your type, right, you are aware of yourself, right, then it doesn't matter what the environment is, uh, you can adapt accordingly. But if you're going lost, right, then you'll be led by the nose. And then that's, that's why a lot of people, after several years of working, they realize that I don't know what am I doing here, I feel lost, I feel very jaded, I don't, I, I don't like, but I don't know why I don't like, and stuff like that. Ah, awesome, awesome. So number one is more broadly the type of industries, mm. right? Maybe you are naturally suited or attracted to certain industries. Mm. Uh, number two, like Ian said, it could be how you interact with people in your office mm. to right. make sure um, you learn and get along with your colleagues mm. and all. Um, for people who are interested to find out a bit more, to learn more, to do the test, what should they do and yeah, how can they reach out to you or I, I don't know. Mm. Mm. So the, the team and I, we created a, uh, a platform, right? a web platform whereby you are able to uh, submit your, take, take the quiz, take the test and everything and then at the end of the test, you should be able to receive a, uh, a report right, that explains to you uh, what is your type, uh, what are your the, the traits of your type, you know, what are the, 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 the your motivations on each time, right? Uh, and then I think there should be a report available if, if you like to, to purchase to get an in-depth in uh, read-up in, into that. Uh, I think we should be able to leave the, the website somewhere in the description uh, so that you'll be able to access the, the link itself. Uh, yes. If you have any other questions, you can find me on my Instagram or you can add me on Facebook and I think we can connect from there. 
awesome, awesome. So check out the link in the description, in the comment section and do the test so that you can find out more about yourself mm. and reach out if you have any questions at all. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Ian. If not, that's all the time we have today. We'll catch you in the next session. See you.